Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. I am excited to be featuring a new brand we've picked up for the store, the Antigua Barbaria de Barrio. And this is that Portuguese line, Chiado. And this is uh, directly inspired by the beautiful mosaic sidewalks in this neighborhood area that are blues and whites. And this is a real modern scent. and we're excited to give it a shot right now on camera. So it's my first time gonna be using this stuff. Um, first, as always, let's get wet. <laughs> as you all know, if you're a veteran of our videos or shaving in general, best to take a shower before you shave. I always like to do that at home, but we do not have that luxury here on camera. And so I will just kind of dampen my beard with some water and rub it around. Um, but I'm also going to employ my favorite secret weapon, the Parasso Pre-Post, also in white packaging uh, for sensitive skin. This is my secret weapon, guys, that takes any shaving experience and instantly makes it a lot more pleasurable. It also really helps with stuff like this, shaving kind of in the field or with less than uh, ideal circumstances, less than perfect hydration on your face and I love applying it vigorously with my fingers and hands. Some guys do this with a brush. I can't imagine that. First off, you can't get a brush into this size container. Second off, this is my opportunity to go over my face, feel it, and kind of almost exfoliate or prepare my beard. I really like to push this product up against the grain, you know, rub and push it against the grain to really get it in and get it softening everything up. And even, sometimes it sounds weird, but I use my fingernails, especially my lower neck where I'm really prone to ingrown hairs, and I almost kind of use it to help get any, any little tiny ingrowns that are starting to kind of almost pop out. That's what a shaving brush does too, so it's not like this is a weird thing, it's just kind of a, a little secret prep routine I do. Just kind of get everything prepped. So I, I know I'm spending a lot of time on pre-shave, but I feel it's something that Usually I'm um, not always telling you about what I'm doing here. So, and if you notice when you go to like a good barber shop or something, the barbers, again, he's using his, his hands. He's really working everything into your face. Same thing, you gotta really get the, the blood flowing, get your skin ready, work in the product. We are going to use for our brush, this is a new product that we have uh, worked to have produced for us. This is the official Razor Emporium Best Badger uh, brush knot. I think it's a 26 millimeter and it is an acrylic handle and it's got our cool logo at the bottom. So really happy with the way these turned out. Kind of got a vintage-y kind of look with that amber and black. If you didn't already know it, uh, all these you know cool metal cans like this, these big metal tubes have a little pokey device in the cap. So you can uh, open up your container, give it a little push and puncture. The metal looks good, and now I can actually get it out. So there's a million ways to do this, guys. You can use a bowl, you can use a mug. You know, I like to just kind of <laughs> put a giant dab, almost like toothpaste, on top of my brush, and then just start kind of getting it so it doesn't want to fall off. Almost kind of dig it into the into the uh, brush, and just start moving it around. Before you know it, it's worked in. Gonna lather up. I've been using the same brush at home. Once we got them in, I took one home for testing purposes. Generally like to do that, you know. And I've been purposely abusing it. Um, it's kind of sometimes one of my jobs to do, it's kind of fun, is to try to destroy this stuff. So I've been leaving it with shaving cream in it, leaving it not even, you know, uh, not even drying it out, just leaving it on the counter. And it's been holding up for a couple couple months now, so I'm pretty happy about that. So again, as I'm lathering, I'm kind of not only making circles, but I'm also kind of trying to do that same mimicking motion that we were talking about with working it into your beard. Um, trying to go against the grain and kind of really push it up, push the, the shaving cream up into my, my beard growth. And now I'm pretty happy with the volume. Smell is great. I'm also, I mean, I won't lie, I'm being a little bit overpowered by the smell of a new brush, but I do smell the, the product and it smells nice. 
It's very mild. I think this would be great for sensitive skin. I always say this, and if, I, if you've heard it before, I'm sorry to sound like a uh, broken record, but a lot of the times people who have sensitivities, are, they're sensitive to the, the, the fragrance in their soap. So if you are cursed with sensitive skin or whatever, you may have to go to products that have less fragrance to them. Okay, we're lathered up. Um, it's my signature Christopher David Bailey swipe. So, another YouTuber out there who does great videos. Um, okay, now we are, we, we're already loaded up. I already kind of preloaded this, but this is our Rex Envoy. So Rex is a, uh, another company that I've had the pleasure of founding and be, you know, starting with a couple different products now. And this is our three-piece stainless steel razor, the Envoy. I've been using it at home a lot. I, I alternate, I'm, I'm not just saying this, I usually alternate between the Ambassador and the Envoy. Um, in fact, I have two bathrooms at my house. Well, really three, one's for the children. <laughs> and then I got the guest bathroom and then I have our main bathroom. My main bathroom has the Ambassador in it. And then the guest bathroom where sometimes I end up taking a quick shower um, you know, if I've been out yard working or in the pool or something, I'll jump in the shower and I have the Envoy in that bathroom. So I use it sometimes as well. Last week, actually it's only been, tomorrow will be one calendar week in our world that we shot the, the shave off video. Um, maybe today. It's been about a week since I, I, I did the shave off video and, and, uh, I've, I think I've only shaved twice since then, and I've already been able to kind of establish a goatee. <laughs> I, I grow facial hair pretty quickly. Never been a problem. Uh, loaded up in the Envoy, we have uh, Permasharp. Permasharp blade, that's out of the Russian factory. Procter & Gamble owns. Same factory that produces the Gillette Platinums, uh, the Gillette Silver Blues, the Rapiras. A lot of, a lot of Russian blades are of my fancy and they all come out of the same factory in St. Petersburg, Russia. Do a little skin stretching here. Always a good idea. I really picked up a lot of that in my straight razor shaving days and I carry it right over the double edge. That was technically the safety bar is going to uh, kind of stretch the skin right before the blade hits it. But I have never found a detriment to doing it manually as well. A lot of times you can also improve how close of a shave you get by doing a little skin stretching in the opposite direction. So you can, and you see barbers doing that. You pull up and then you shave and then you end up getting a closer shave. So right now I'm just kind of dancing around my goatee area, my chin, I'm going to try to finish everything. Before that, and then we'll go back and establish. Now generally I would tell people who are growing out facial hair to wait at least a week to shave for the first time. Um, and I've done that many times. But this time I didn't have that luxury. Sometimes if I go more than just a few days without shaving, I'll get, I'll get uh, irritation or ingrown hairs just from the hair getting long and kind of curling back. So I have found my best routine is to shave every other day. And it just so happens that I have shaved every other day since our shave off. So it's been, it's been good. And that's usually advice I give to anyone who has sensitive skin out there. Before you go buy some fancy brush or some fancy razor and think that you have to buy the potions and lotions and witch hazel and all of them and a million other things, just try changing the routine around your shave. Shave every other day. Shave after a shower. Shave with cold water. Shave with, uh, only, with the grain only. Um, use a balm, not a splash. 
you know, all these, all these pieces of advice that I've told people over the years, and I, it's not just worked for me, it's worked for a lot of uh, our customers and, and people who write into us. It is still very early for me to be doing a lot of final shaping of my goatee. I've actually, if you've noticed, I'm not really trimming too much on the mustache area. I'm not trimming anything in here. I'm, I'm even kind of probably going a little bit bigger than I would normally get. And as soon as it starts getting longer, I'll probably curtail it and really trim it and square it up nicely. But right now I'm just trying to let the, let the grass grow, so to speak, on the field and let some length come in. My wife is already, <laughs> my wife is already begging the viewers out there to let me grow a beard back. She said, no, no, the beard's gone. I love you with the beard. And I said, honey, but how can I own a shaving company and have a beard? <laughs> so the goal is to keep the goatee and then also to try to shoot a bunch of videos in advance so I can maybe have three or four weeks without, uh, without a shave video needing to be shot and I can grow a small beard in the meantime. I think it's what a lot of women like to, I mean, I don't want to get on a whole other subject here, but I think a lot of women don't, they don't want the, the long biker beard. They want that one to two week stubble, you know, where the stubble's not poke anymore, but it's not getting too long. It's in that Don Johnson designer stubble, kind of short Hollywood beard kind of look. So that's that. I have a cool little goatee. It's coming in decently. I enjoy the shave with our Envoy. Very easy, as you saw, just Effortless, one pass, no irritation. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the splash and I'm going to do my secret patented mixing, mixology over here. And I'm going to take a Parasso white balm, which has next to no scent at all, but I love the performance of what it does for my skin and how nice my skin feels afterwards. Put a little bit of that in my palm of my hand and then put some of the Chiado Smells phenomenal, by the way. I love this scent. I may have to take this one home. It won't be a tester. It'll be my home stash. And make kind of my own splash. So the best of both worlds. A little moisturizing, a little alcohol. Oh yeah. Oh, I can feel that alcohol. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while, guys. Haven't used an alcohol splash for a while. Woo! Feeling great. I may get a little bit of red. My, my skin always is sensitive to, to alcohol, but... Uh, feels wonderful, and I love the smell. And that is going to wrap up our shave using the Antigua Barbaria de Mario. Again, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, <laughs> it's such an interesting name to say. I think it basically translates to the antique barber of the neighborhood. I think that's more or less what it means. Um, I know a little bit of Spanish, and Portuguese is pretty close. So. That's all I got. Of course, we have our cool stand for the Envoy. If you enjoyed today's shaving products, shaving experience, shaving dialogue we've had, let me know in the comments below. If you do leave a comment, you are entered in to win this, the official Razor Emporium Black and Blue t-shirt. That's all I got for today. I'm happy to be back shaving with you guys and uh, share this video with all of your friends, like it, um, and we will see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving. Thanks, guys.